nature is indeed impressive. Always full of surprises and mysteries that we will never fully understand. As humans, we are part of nature. But unfortunately, some people out there don't quite get that and have to put some other species at risk. Today, I'll be introducing you to 10 animals that are about to go extinct. It'll be quite sad to see that some of our beloved animals might soon disappear, unless we do something about it. You will realize that you know a lot of these animals, but some of them might be new to you. I just hope that at the end of the video, you feel encouraged to do something about it. And who knows, together we might be able to put a stop to this, but the first thing we gotta do is educate ourselves. Make sure you stay with me all the way to the end of the video. The animal at the top of this video might be new for a lot of you, but it is important that you learn about the dangers it's facing today. With all that said and done, let's begin. Number 10. Gorillas There are five types of gorillas in the world, and all of them are in danger due to the loss of habitat and other threats like hunting. However, there are two types of gorillas that are in extreme danger. One of them was classified as endangered, and the other one is now so rare that it was considered extinct classified as critically endangered by the Red List of Threatened Species. The two subspecies I'm talking about are the Cross River Gorillas and the Mountain Gorillas. The Cross River Gorillas have raised deep concern among the community of environmental warriors, as there are only 300 of them left in the world. The classification as critically endangered points out that their population has decreased at least 80% within three generations. In order to address the problem, some organizations around the world are fighting to create reserves to keep these animals safe, while also educating people about the importance of preserving them. Number 9. The Blue Whale The Blue Whale has been very popular in many of our videos. After all, this is hands down the largest and heaviest animal that exists in the world today. And also, unfortunately, this one is on the list of endangered species. It is estimated that there are less than 25,000 of them left in the wild. Sure, that may sound like a big number for a big animal, but when you look at the size of the oceans, we could obviously have way more than just 25,000 blue whales. Like many other species, the blue whales are suffering due to climate change, which causes habitat loss and the releasing of toxic substances in the water. You might think that climate change is not affecting them directly, but it affects krill, which is the blue whale's main source of food. And when your food is lacking or toxic, it does not do any good to you. In order to help them out, some organizations around the world are tracking the whales to make sure they have safe habitats and healthy sources of food. Number eight, sea turtles. I know many of us here love sea turtles, but I'm not sure if most of you are aware that there are several different types of sea turtles in the world, and two of them are in danger today. One of them is the hawksbill turtle population, and 80% of that has been lost in the last 10 years. Can't even begin to imagine that. If we had been born a few decades earlier, we would have been able to spot way more of these beauties in the oceans. On the other hand, the leatherback turtle has actually been classified as vulnerable, but some groups around the world have started to go extinct. Their natural predators include birds, small mammals, and other opportunist animals that dig their way to the nurdles' nests and eat their eggs. Humans are not preying on them directly. However, the pollution and human-generated light has kept the turtle population from growing. Luckily, many governments around the world are becoming conscious about this problem, and they are trying to create safer environments for the turtles to thrive and reproduce. Number 7. Orangutans Unfortunately, the gorillas are not the only primates in danger that I have on this list. We also have the orangutans. All orangutans are originally from Indonesia and Malaysia. In fact, the name of the animal comes from two Malay words, orang, which means people, and uteng, which means jungle. So they're basically people of the jungle. And unfortunately, we've had a decrease of their population by over 80% in over the last 75 years. The main cause of their disappearance is the habitat loss that they have experienced to mass deforestation. These animals are found in the forests of Borneo and Sumatra, and the deforestation in these places is only putting more pressure on them. In the case of the Sumatran orangutan, there are 1,413 left and they are spread all over the forest, split into different families of about 80 to 250 individuals each. Only three families have more than a thousand members. The best way to help them is, of course, by stopping deforestation. But the authorities in these regions have also started to help with things like putting a stop to illegal trading and reintroducing rescued orangutans to sanctuaries where they can live and grow at peace. Number 6. The Amur Leopard The Amur Leopard is one of the fastest animals on Earth. It can run as fast as 56 kilometers per hour, which is not as fast as the cheetah, but it's definitely faster than Usain Bolt. 
the fastest human in the world. They are also known as Far East Leopards, and you can find them in a forested region in the eastern part of Russia by the Amur River, which is a natural border between Russia and China. These are the only known leopards to be able to survive in both extremely cold winters and scorching hot summers. And their ability to adapt comes in handy as they're nocturnal animals, so most of the day is spent inside caves or other forms of shelter. Unfortunately, the emmer leopard has been classified as critically endangered due to the fact that there are only 70 of them left in the world. However, there is a bit of hope for things to get better. Back in 2007, there were only 30 of them. Today, their numbers have slowly started to increase thanks to the help of a Russian national park and the help of other organizations that want these animals to stay safe. Number five, Sumatran elephants. Next on this list, I have another animal that also lives in Sumatra and is also threatened by the habitat loss that comes from deforestation. It is the Sumatran elephant, and there are only about two, 400 of them left. In fact, a few other animals on this list also live in the same forest, and I can only imagine what it would all look like if deforestation had been controlled. The Sumatran elephant went from being endangered to critically endangered in 2000, Asoyiros, 2012, after losing half of its population in just one generation. Oil palm plantations in the paper and pulp industries have transformed the forest, leaving not much space for the elephants and other animals. In one of the provinces in Sumatra, there used to be 12 herds of elephants in the 80s. Now, they only have three herds and only two of them are able to carry on with life. Another threat that the elephants have faced is the demand for the ivory that comes from their tusks. The good news is that since after two years that China has banned ivory trade, the demand for ivory dramatically decreased. Let's just hope things continue to get better for these amazing animals. Number four, Sayola unicorns might not be real. I mean, I haven't seen one yet, but this animal is the closest thing that we've found so far. The Sayola, also called the Asian unicorn, was discovered in 1992, becoming one of the greatest findings of the century. It is known that the Sayolas live around Vietnam and Laos. They're so mysterious that not many people actually know about them. Scientists have only seen them four times in the wild, and so far there are no Sayolas in captivity. That might explain why you haven't seen any at the zoo. However, with less than 20 years of being known, they are already a critically endangered species. This is due to their loss of habitat that has come as a result of their forest turning into agricultural fields, allowing for new infrastructure that might get the Sayola closer to potential hunters. Today, different groups of people are working to make sure that there are laws and protected areas to keep this mythical animal safe. Number three, tigers. When it comes to big cats, the tigers are some of the most popular representatives of the group. After all, we've seen them at the zoo in many movies and probably in a lot of magazines and textbooks that revolve around animals. However, when it comes to life in the wild, tigers are some of the most endangered animals. There are nine different types of tigers, and three of them already went extinct. The remaining six are at risk, but the most concerning ones are the South China tiger and the Sumatran tiger. In fact, many experts are afraid that the South China tiger might be extinct by now because no one has spotted one since the 70s. If that is the case, then the animal is no longer considered critically endangered, but instead it would be considered extinct in the wild. In the case of the Sumatran tiger, they are native to Indonesia, and there are only about 500 of them left. And mind you, that is a dramatic decrease from the 1,000 that were counted in 1978. The tiger has been hunted for its fur, but in the case of the Sumatran tiger, it has been the victim of deforestation, just like all the other animals in the region. If that deforestation stopped today, there would be more hope for these animals. Number two, the rhinos. The black rhino, the Javan rhino, and the Sumatran rhino are the three species of rhino that are considered endangered today. The most threatened in the group is the Javan rhino. There are only about 60 of them left at the Ujung Kulon National Park in Java, Indonesia. This is very important, as they are the only hope for the species to survive. Back in the day, these rhinos used to live in lands from all the way in Northeast India to the mainland of Southeast Asia. If we lose this group of 60 rhinos left in Java, we lose the whole species forever. Similarly, the Sumatran rhino only has 80 survivors left, spread over the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. They are the smallest of them all. But if we lose these rhinos, their current ecosystems will be compromised as they are important for the proper survival and thriving of the species. 
plants and other animals in the region keeping their ecosystem safe is the main way to help them survive. I have noticed a pattern here and that Sumatra is just kind of terrible. Number 1. Pangolin Don't let those scales fool you. This animal is not a reptile. It's just a scale-covered mammal, one that is capable of eating 70 million insects per year. There are eight species of pangolin and all of them are in danger, ranging all the way from vulnerable to critically endangered. One of the main reasons they got to that point is the illegal trafficking of pangolin that happens in Asia, and lately Africa as well. People consider the pangolin's meat to be a delicacy, while their scales are being used in traditional medicine to treat things like rheumatism and arthritis. It is estimated that at least 2,000 hun of these animals were killed between the years of 2011 to 2013. But experts believe that the number was actually 10 times higher, which really puts the species very close to extinction. Due to the criminal nature of these actions against pangolin, the best thing that people can do is fight for better laws that promote the protection of these unique mammals. Now that you've gotten this information, do you feel you need to do something about it? Because I certainly do. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you have any ideas on how we can help protect these animals from the evil actions of others. With all that said and done, that's our video for the day, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody!